Hey, we're here with Adam and Elliot, and we have some news from Bridgestone. They're launching a brand new B330 series golf ball. Guys, tell me about this ball. Super excited about the new B balls, obviously. Um, you know, whenever we come out with a new product, there's a lot of R&D, a lot of uh, research that goes into it. This particular ball is four years in the making. Uh, so this isn't a couple of months of research. This truly is a new golf ball. It's not a package change. It's new technology that's never been in the marketplace before. Uh, you know, we're sticking with the amateur golf balls, the RX and RXS. That's a category that we created back in 2008. We're very proud of our position in, in that market. But then we're also having the traditional tour balls in 330S and 330. Um, and we're kind of glad that we can support the entire marketplace via four SKUs versus one or two that our competitors have. We feel we can better service the customers that way. And a couple of things about the ball we have. It's new on the outside and the end. Let's start with the outside. Let's start with the cover. Yeah, it's going to have a new proprietary cover on it, um, the slip rest cover, and we're very excited to bring that to the market. Like Elliot mentioned, um, we've been developing this cover for over four years. Um, me having a little bit of R&D background, I'd worked in the R&D before moving over to marketing, so I really got to see this ball being developed as far as that slip rest cover. And what's exciting about the slip rest cover is it offers performance benefits throughout the bag. And that's kind of what took so long developing it. It wasn't something that we just did very quickly. It took a long time to develop. That way the ball performance is perfect throughout the bag. Um, we wanted to make sure it did the right things around the green and for your driver. So the biggest benefits you get from it is um, the new coating cover combination allows the driver spin to be reduced. So we're reducing driver spin due to the friction. But then also on the other end of the spectrum, you see wedge condition spin going up higher as well. So the friction on the wedge sticks to the club a little bit more, gets a little bit more spin around the greens, plus added spin from the rough. We all know the USGA took a little bit away from our spin a couple years ago with mm -hmm. the wedge. So we've kind of been always kind of trying to innovate and find a new technology to get some of that spin back from the rough. So the new cover also allows you to get a little bit more spin from the rough. And we all know that's controlling your golf ball, the most important thing in golf. When it comes to the cover, are we talking thinner, thicker, and how about the durability of it? The durability of the ball is another added benefit that we get from this, um, and that's also what took a little bit more time in development of this product. You know, we wanted to make sure it's perfect. We wanted to make sure not only does it give you the benefit of spin, the correct spin off driver, and more control and spin around the greens, we wanted it to be durable. We wanted to make sure it's the best ball we've ever created as far as a cover um, standpoint. So it's actually a little bit more durable than our previous version, and that's because the actual cover coating combination allows it to be a little softer. So it's a little bit more ductile, a little more loose, so it doesn't scar up as much as our previous version. Yeah, I think it's important to note this still is a urethane golf ball. It's still soft, it still performs great around the green, but the combination of the urethane cover with the new slip rest coating uh, is where the durability comes from. All right, now let's move to the inside. Tell me about the core of these new golf well, balls. Well, the core is the engine, as we all know. Um, and so in the, in the RX, RXS, we have the, the amateur core, so kind of a play on the word amateur. Uh, and so those golf balls are optimized for swing speeds under 105 miles an hour. They're built directly from our database of over 300,000 amateur golf ball fittings. Um, so those golf balls are designed for great ball speed, low driver spin, great performance, tee to green. When we move into the 330 and 330S, we went to a 6% uh, larger core this year. And so I'll kind of throw it over to Adam here, but essentially what we've done is we've gone to a tour core that's going to be optimized for higher club head speeds. Yeah, so in the B330 and B330S with the larger core that you mentioned, what we did is we increased that slope steepness as far as softness on the inside to firmness on the outside of the core. So what we have is a very soft inner working of our core that keeps driver spin down and then a progressively firmer outside region of the core that keeps ball speed very high and very fast. So we're able to do in one large solid core what some other companies do in a dual core setting or multiple layers to kind of keep the ball ball speed up and then spin down to a manageable level. Yeah, we, you know, we're kind of innovators in the solid core technology um, back in the 90s and what we've done with gradational compression, the new tour core and hydro core this year are light years beyond what a lot of the competition is doing. So the hydro core is staying in this line coming from the previous line? Um, very similar but a different approach going approach. forward. They've been reformulated in a way to where they're going to be the tour core for the B330S and then the amateur core for the RX and RXS. Okay, now just looking at a golf ball, it might not stand out, but when you walk into a store, 
What is going to stand out is the new packaging. You guys want to talk about new packaging, what's on the back think, and the front of the box? Yeah, well, I think when, first and foremost, you look at the front of the box, it's kind of what's old is new. Um, you kind of see the shiny packaging reminiscent of some of those first generations of the 330, 330S that we had out there. Um, you know, kind of going back to our roots, we've been around for 11 years now, very successful in the tour golf ball marketplace, very successful in the marketplace in general. So the shiny package definitely jumps at you. Colors are consistent with what consumers relate to. Uh, you know, we go to the ball fan events and we hear consumers all the time and say, I play the blue box, I play the red box. And so the colors certainly are staying the same. Big difference on the back side of the packages, we're differentiating the two, the two series of golf balls a little bit more. So in the RX and RXS, you flip that golf ball around and, and that box up there. Um, and you, it kind of says, if you swing 105, this is the ball for me. Do you want distance or do you want spin? And then what can I expect of it? And then the tour golf ball, the same story. If you're swinging over 105, we have a tour core that's designed specifically for you. Yeah, and we love the packaging. We're very excited about the look and the overall appeal of the packaging. But the biggest thing we can keep harping on is it's more than just a packaging change this time around. We've done some major key developments to this ball. It took years and years of development of the core all the way to the cover. This isn't just a slight spec change to one of the mantle layers or a small spec change to the core. These are significant changes to the ball that maintain the characteristics of the ball's performance for the RX or for the RXS as far as spin around the greens. The B330 being a you know dominating ball in that distance category and the B330S being a very dominant ball as far as spin. So we're very excited. The packaging looks great, but we're even more excited about the technology involved in these golf balls. All right, well, as you can tell, Bridgestone very excited about the new B-Series golf ball. It is launching tomorrow or today, and you guys will get a chance to get some feedback in on the forum. For Adam and Elliot, Bridgestone Golf, we're here to kick off the PGA Merchandise Show. Guys, thanks for the time. Absolutely. Thank you. Check them out, guys. Best ball we ever made.